too hot. Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm out here and I decided this is going to be also a, uh, another impromptu video. And that is uh, kind of respecting these twisties. I was just uh, in a situation here where a couple of these corners, like I came into them too fast. And uh, it's easy to do like, you know, obviously we all have bikes. And if you get into these situations, it's really fun to uh, toss these things around. And uh, it takes a minute sometimes to remember like, oh yeah, Either you haven't done it in a while, which that is me. I haven't done this in a while. And um, also, you know, it's been a while. I've ridden this road before, but I don't have it memorized. So one thing I will say, this is not meant to be a Dan Dan the Fireman or Moto Jitsu training video, because I am not that guy. But um, if you're doing these rides, make sure you're only going into corners spirited if you can see the exit because uh, what happened to me here, uh, maybe a mile or so back, is you go into these corners exactly like this, and it kind of starts at a certain angle, and you hit it, but it changes direction as you're going around that corner. And what I mean by that is that the turn can then quickly get sharper than what you had anticipated, because you can't see the exit. So, um, you know, as somebody out here riding that again is uh you know i don't get a chance to ride in these situations as much as i would like to and it's nice so i'm just kind of you know reminding myself ride carefully obviously that applies everywhere but um if you can uh, get stuck behind a slow mitsubishi that certainly helps your uh, safety level uh, quite a bit but uh, if you're out here in these situations like this turn you can't see the exit could get much tighter than what you anticipate and the alternative is that rock right there which uh, would likely not feel good i do trust my showy but not too sure um, how that would hold up against a rock so uh it's nice to be out here kind of ripping around like this because most of my riding is it's utility it's literally commuting back and forth to work when you uh, have the life of a full-time job uh, running a YouTube channel, uh, kid, wife, the opportunities to get out and ride in these nice scenic areas like this can uh, be far and few between. So just kind of wanted to remind you guys, you know, ride safe. It's much easier to come into these corners with speed uh, when you can see the exits. Obviously going into blind corners, carrying speed, not, uh, not the greatest idea. So here, you know, this is nice. You can see, can't see the exit, but can see where the road's going. So you know, you can hit this one relatively quick. And then you also know how to set yourself up going into it. Uh, you know, I will drag the back brake a little bit to uh, slow me down. Don't want to get too hard on the brakes. But uh, one thing I've learned uh, motorcycling is that people tell you, and don't take this as me saying to constantly do this because Again, I'm not a trainer. I do not watch this video assuming that I'm a trainer, but there's sort of this mentality, and I think it's why sometimes people run into situations uh, going too fast in corners. You can lightly utilize brakes in corners. I do it all the time. Um, I'm sure there's going to be, be, be people out there who are like, dude, you can't hit the brakes in the corners. You're an idiot. But um, if you do it lightly, um, you know, you can certainly slow down, but being able to see these corners and you know it's it's super important so like this is an example too like here you see this fades away looks like a, a yeah here you go looked like a light turn all of a sudden you're leaning in much harder than you thought you were going to because you couldn't see it and uh, it tightens up so uh, beautiful place to ride but there is a lot of varying corners and um, some get really tight quickly actually so just make sure you can see what you're doing um, as I'm coming in here to Tonto National Forest, this is Canyon Lake. So Saguaro Lake is west of here. This is uh, the Canyon Lake area, and it's uh, really beautiful. So this is actually heading into uh, Tortilla Flat, which is one of my favorite places to ride into. It's uh, kind of close by, so I can do this ride uh, without too much time uh, needed to do it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ride. And just enough 
twisties to uh, to make it really fun. Um, it's not too challenging. I also, you know, ride within my limits. Try not to uh, do anything stupid. Man, this lake is uh, it's low. Yeah, these corners get pretty uh, pretty tight. Yeah, I want to say this lake is usually significantly higher. I am actually going to loop around here because it's hot. I'm going home. tell you what these uh, drop-offs you hit that drop-off you are gone these some of these drop-offs are a hundred if not several hundred feet in depth like this one here is probably a good 50 feet down of just nothing but rock your entire way down I'm gonna have to go and ride uh, South Mountain one of these days. There are some drop-offs over there at South Mountain, which is uh, basically right in the city of Phoenix, that uh, I had no idea were as steep as what they are. They are, they're legit. So again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I will see you guys next time.